Welcome back for another 50 States of Food cooking video. This is a collaborative effort I'm doing with Heather from the Pixel Gamer Girl channel where we are slowly kicking our way through all 50 of the United States. Today's stop finds us in the Rough Rider state of North Dakota, admitted into the Union on November 2nd, 1889, making it our 39th state. And the dish we're going to be making today is the German style potato and dumpling soup. The ingredients I'm going to be using today are about four potatoes, four large potatoes, one onion and four ribs of celery that I've diced up, one cup of heavy cream, a fourth of a cup of flour, four tablespoons of butter, and eight cups of chicken stock, and that's all going to go into our soup. For our dumplings, I'll be using two cups of flour, half of a cup of milk, two eggs, and for seasonings, I've got some parsley poultry seasoning, salt, and pepper. All right, those are all our ingredients, so let's get moved over to the stove and start bringing our soup together. Here at the stove, I've started by melting the four tablespoons of butter, to which I'm gonna add the onion and the celery, and a little pinch of salt, and these are gonna saute for about five minutes or until the onions start to turn translucent. After cooking for about five minutes, my onions are starting to turn translucent. So at this time, I want to go ahead and add in a fourth of a cup of flour. And then this just needs to be stirred until it coats all of our little onions and celery that are in there. Now that I have the flour stirred in with the vegetables, I want to add in about one cup of my chicken stock. And then go ahead and just stir that in. That'll help our flour start to thicken up our chicken stock. And then once that's in, go ahead and add the remaining eight cups, or seven cups, I'm sorry, of a chicken stock. And now that we have the chicken stock in, it's time to add in the potatoes. A good pinch of salt. And black pepper to taste. I'm going to cover this with a lid and allow it to come up to a boil and then I'll drop it down to a simmer and allow it to simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes just until those potatoes are tender. Just is going to depend on how big your potato chunks are. While I'm waiting on the potatoes to cook, I want to move on to making the dumplings. I'm going to start off with two cups of flour and my seasonings, which was two teaspoons of parsley, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. And I'm gonna stir this in just so it's evenly incorporated. Next in goes the two eggs, and a half a cup of milk. And then this just gets stirred together until all of our wet ingredients are incorporated into the flour. Once you get the dumpling dough together, go ahead and divide it into three pieces. That'll make it just a little bit easier to work with. And I want to roll this out into about a one inch thick rope. Once you have the dough rolled out, go ahead and cut it into roughly one fourth inch segments. And then these can just be set off to the side while I continue making dumplings out of the remainder of the dough. Now that I have all the dumplings made, I'm just going to let them sit here until I'm ready to add them into the soup. After about 40 minutes, it's time to add in the dumplings, and then these just need to cook for about 5 minutes, or until they're cooked through. After 5 minutes, our dumplings have risen to the top, so they should be cooked completely through. And the last thing to do is add in the 1 cup of heavy cream. All that's left now is to check it for some seasoning, see if it needs any more salt and pepper. And after I do that, I'll go ahead and get a bowl plated up and I'll try it out. Now that I have the potato and dumpling soup all plated up, it is time to try it. And I cannot wait to dig into this. It is such a cold, rainy day today and this is definitely going to hit the spot. This is definitely a delicious bowl of soup. This is the first time I've ever had this type of dumpling and I got to say, I'm really enjoying them. They add a different texture to it, the dish other than just the soft potatoes. So they're a little bit on the springy, chewy side, and I kind of find those satisfying. Definitely a welcome addition. 
But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. Please be sure to go and check out the playlist and see what states we've already done. I will leave a link to it down in the description. But as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Volker. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.